Dear students, in this module, we shall discuss three major properties of action potentials. These are the refractory period, accommodation, and adaptation. Every action potential is followed by a period which is called refractory period. It is the time duration during which an other action potential can either never be generated or it is difficult to fire. Yani, ya to ek action potential bilko shuru nahi kiya ja sakta ya agar shuru kiya ja sakta hai to difficulty ke saath hota hai. This is called refractory period. There are two types of refractory periods. One is the absolute refractory period and the second is uh, relative refractory period. The absolutely absolute refractory period is the period during which no new action potential can be generated. Aisa is liye hota hai ki ek membrane jisne abhi action potential fire kiya hai usme ion channels have not returned back to deactivated state. Wo abhi thode se active hote hain, unko reactivate karna mumkin nahi hota. While the relative refractive period is the period in which the action potentials are difficult to provoke and they require higher thresholds and stronger depolarization to initiate. Aisa is liye hota hai ke absolute refractive period guzarne ke foran baad ka jo time hai usme kuch membrane channels ya kuch channel proteins deactivate ho chuki hoti hain is liye if the more threshold is applied that can generate another action potential the the, uh, the significance of refractive period is that the interval between two action potentials cannot be shorter than absolute refractory period. The significance of this is that the only a limited number of action potentials can be generated by a nerve cell in a given time. It decreases the fatigue of the nerve fiber. It also permits propagation of discrete impulses and prevents the fusion or summation of impulses. Dear students, another property of action potentials is the property of accommodation. This is a characteristic of excitable membranes. If a neuron is continuously being stimulated by a series of subthreshold depolarizations. There happens a decrease in the excitability of the membrane. As a result, the required threshold to initiate an action potential increases. It happens due to change in the sensitivity of the membrane channels. Jin ko musalsal agar sub threshold uh, stimuli milte rahe hain, to wo insensitive ya less sensitive ho jate hain aur phir action potentials us threshold par produce nahi karte. In addition to accommodation, the uh, excitable membranes also have the property of adaptation. It is defined as the reduction in the frequency of action potentials in a neuron due to a sustained stimulus. Agar ek stimulus musalsal chal raha hai aur khatam nahi ho raha, to phir membrane uske liye action potential generate karna ya to kam kar deti hai ya bilkul stop kar deti hai. This property is called adaptation. There are two types of adaptations. One is the phasic adaptation, also known as phasic response, and the other is tonic response. In phasic response, 
the neurons adapt rapidly and after generating one or two initial action potentials they stop generating further action potentials while in tonic response the neurons adapt slowly they keep on firing action potentials repetitively but with reducing frequency this is a gradual decrease in producing production of or generation of action potentials